You know what's funny, Messiah? I looked at the uh, the intro, the, the Dash and Bash intro, and um, I noticed that all the people that were being robbed, they were like mysteriously very calm as their money is being snatched out of their hands. And I was just like, wow, that's unrealistic. And then it popped up in my head. No, that's what happened to the American people every day. Yeah, you, you kind of... The American people being theory. robbed yeah. by people in suits every day. Yeah. And we're just kind of like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, And then you blame, you blame like the homeless man outside for it. Yeah. 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 yeah so, mm -hmm. so this is going to be a special Dash and Bash because everyone, oh, what about the landlords? What about their feelings? So we're going to do um, a landlord. <laughs> we're going to do a landlord. What edition. about the parasites? What about their feelings? So literally there's... So think, uh, won't somebody trust, think of the mosquitoes? You can trust you can totally trust local news to somehow finagle an angle to make you really feel sad at the landlord somehow. Um they're gonna find the most obscure, most outlying situation where the a tenant is doing something crazy to the landlord, which is not normal. That's yeah, like the tenant is just like resting their nutsack on your forehead, covering yeah. your eyeballs. <laughs> right? They're you're, gonna you're, find you're, out one outlier. Your, your tenant is running a train world. on your daughter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, he's she was wearing, so innocent, but now, like, you know, she's at yeah, she's at wearing, the tennis house getting her yeah, back blown you're out the every top night. Hat while you're doing it. At a monocle! At a monocle, son! <laughs> so I want to play this first local news story. This should show you that I'm not making this up. They're always going to find a weird story of, like, oh, please, going to feel crying for the landlord. You know, like, oh, no, not the landlord. Oh, what about their feelings? Oh, so evictions for certain was, renters is keeping millions in their homes. But it's also complicating things for landlords who are hoping the deadline would help their case. Let's the talk about your complicated hairline. How about that? On renters. But tonight, we're looking at things from the perspective of the landlord. LAX 18's Christiana Ford. He looks like he belongs in the council for like busted windows. New things with their moms. And we just fixed it and they turned around and did it again. Trash, stolen electricity, tenants changing locks. Looks like it's changed locks. And damaging property. One of the tenants climbed up on the roof and bust our cameras that we have out here. This is what landlord Ron Johnson and property manager Kathy Gibson are dealing with at the Lincoln Terrace Apartments in Lexington. We don't have no power anymore. We don't have no influence on them. We, can't, we don't have nothing. They have all the rights. We have none. These are all the police reports they've made since the pandemic began. Johnson says running the property during an eviction moratorium feels like a hopeless situation. I've got a list, and you want to see that, 58 people that's not paying. And with the CDC's eviction moratorium extended three more months, they don't know what they'll do. I don't know why they're doing it. See, see that situation? You see this what happened? They showed the most craziest tenant, and then they mm -hmm. come all the 58 of them together with the crazy guy who's like have cat shit outside of his door and shit like that, you know? Mm -hmm. You saw that move? So, yep. Uh, yeah. There was one story I saw where uh, the landlord was claiming that uh, these people are not paying the rent, but instead they're buying boats. We're going to play that next. Save that. We're going to play that clip next. I mean, they're not paying in the beginning. Three boats. Now we're going to lose six boats. months out of the rent on some of them. <laughs> not all of them, but some of them. Yo, uh, I, I'll let y'all know where my three boats is at later on in the show. To, of 2020. I don't, I don't like what's going on and it makes you it kind of I'm sad. The money's not coming in, so we have to live on what we get. And then you know, he's got a mortgage. According to the CDC order, landlords Part you said you weren't getting anything process at any time, even during the eviction moratorium. Tenants can't be forced Why to move out until it job? expires unless they don't become an essential court. worker like but Cuomo if they said. do evict, landlords will lose out on the millions <laughs> in federal stimulus money they could get paid for past due rent and utilities. This is really difficult for landlords. I mean, they're a business and, and we understand that, you know, they have bills to pay and, and this is a burden on them. And so we're we're partnering with them uh, as much as we can and, and, and trying to prioritize you know, where we need to to get that money out as fast as possible. The Lexington Fayette Urban County government listened to landlords' complaints about poor communication and frustrations about how slow the process has been going. We are ramping up. We have added 15 additional staff to the program this week. Uh, to review and process applications. More people that are going to be able to pay their rent. As if the yeah, I mean, they're, was... they're evicting people while people, literally people are getting evicted, and then the day after they get their rental assistance money. 
Mm-hmm. So obviously, landlord doesn't give some landlord. A lot of landlords don't give a shit about the money, as you see. And yeah, expensive. like, and there, there have been a a massive number of reports of landlords saying, "No, I don't want the money." We showed it on Black Power Magic Hour last week of a guy who, um, uh, you, you heard what the, uh, the that fucking alien ass inhuman uh, oh, lawyer oh, said. Oh, but well, we saying. would just end up. We would just end up right here. Ne- but he said that he got a new job. So that means that, he wouldn't be I behind anymore. That I was sick for weeks and I went back to work. The, the, you know, you got me for the money and they were still like, no, nah, we're getting you out of here anyway, even though he was like four months behind or because he was sick. And you could tell he was using a straw man argument too. Oh, but if he wasn't able to pay that before, then we just end up here next month. Did you not hear yeah, that he was, he was unable to work and now he's working? <laughs> It's hard to pay bills when you're like laid up in the hospital. And bro. he couldn't wait to list all of the ways that the guy's life is now ruined. Yeah, you know, you're not we're not rich people who just make passive income just standing around. Your but money they're makes still money. only allowed to pay up to twelve months of back rent and utilities. Landlords who've had tenants not paying for longer than that are out of luck. The Treasury Department may decide at some point to extend you know, as since we've they've extended the moratorium, they may extend the rules on how much we can pay. That's that's not our call. For Johnson, the reality of that and the chaos at his property makes another extension tough to swallow. We want to have a little bit more control. Right now, we have no control. Yeah, we want control. You heard that? You heard that, yo? That was the end result. Forget we want money. control. Forget anything else is about control. It's about power. You know, those two got those two people can go work at a restaurant and make the extra cash on the side. They old and retired. They can do that. No, they want to sit back and make money off of these people. And, and they want to find the one crazy story, the one cat woman or dog crazy man in their in their apartment complex. Look at this crazy man not paying for the rent. Well, let's get all 58 of those people out of there. So, yeah, I was going to say, there are 58 uh, separate units, right, that yeah. haven't been paying, right? Let's show the one crazy if, person. If, you know. if, if the government gives you 12 months plus utilities for each one times 58. 12 months. How much you want to bet one of them would be driving a late model something? Because they'd be able to pay all of, you know, all of the repairs, all of their mortgage payments or whatever would be like completely taken care of, right? How much you want to bet the government gives them that money and then you see them driving some shiny red thing from some of that extra money because, it, you know, they're, they're, they're for profit. So the only thing that really happened is you're not really losing any money. You're just having your income deferred. And we don't even know if you have to pay taxes on it since it comes from the government. Yeah, but it refused. They rather they rather just kick people out and assume that one day someone's going to pay more money for it. A hypothetical person. These people think that you see those apartments that we just saw in that last that last segment we played. Um, I don't know if you guys saw that, but. I it didn't even look like it was the greatest, you know, the greatest place expect, to live, even with all of that. Take people out of there and then, and pay more money for those little flop house looking things. You know, those those places look like where Norman Bates murders people. Nigga, I was about to go there, <laughs> son. Like, not 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 for nothing. I was about to say, <laughs> looks like some I, shit. Like someone's peeking through the hole while you're taking the shower. <laughs> you know? Yo, son, son. I was about to. I was about. I was about to say. <laughs> that there has been no other apartment complex in the united states that has had the phrase twenty dollars is twenty dollars (laughs) said more than there (laughs) and they're like they're like grimy like they got the palace of messiah or some shit like that get the fuck out of here bro so we're gonna play this viral thing right here that dr regines is talking about about the three boats Complaining about the three boats. Yeah, all these crazy. people not paying their rent. They're buying boats. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, wait. Uh, ask later. Oh, I don't have With to. With the eviction okay, moratorium okay, ending this something? weekend, it's going to be tough for millions of Americans. Court proceedings will also be interesting. Landlords I've spoken to said they've already started filing. Yo, they're like, they're like. <sighs> This way. There's hardly of course, a day he has his MAGA shirt on. Around Get out my pickup truck. You know, this my house is this. this yo, is he's this. ultra maga fied. Oh, what shit. What needs to be done on the side? Shop's mother bought her first investment property 50 years ago. And her buddy tagged Yo, who wears cell phone holsters like that anymore? Nah, I took Someone's it over. Uncle? 
11 years ago. Truck. After a lifetime of a MAGA work, man in his MAGA truck. 35 homes in the county. <laughs> Running all the so property, collecting right the rents. And so I want to rewind to say how much property he owns. He says, this says how much property he owns. I want people to accept that. After a yeah. lifetime of hard work, Schaaf now manages 35 homes in the county. Running all the property and collecting the rents and doing the books. But he says since the eviction moratorium has been in place, he has lost over $24,000 in rent. This guy didn't pay no rent at all. sound like a lot. $12,000 behind he was. And he couldn't evict him. This guy had three boats sitting in this driveway. I'm telling you, these dudes look Couldn't like they're going to pay rent, but he had three boats house. in this driveway. And another tenant. Wait, wait, pause, 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 pause. So when I read the article yeah. on this, okay, the article made it seem... Like the persons, instead of paying their rent, bought three boats. That was the way that they were making it appear. And this is why, people, you have to go and you have to get all the real information because they will take the information and try to twist it to sell you a narrative instead of just reporting the goddamn news. The guy did not say that the dude bought three boats all while not paying the rent. He just said there were three boats there. Now, when you look at it, apparently those boats aren't there anymore. So, I don't know. Is it possible that maybe he was broke and then sold the boats? We don't know this person's story about why he has boats. He goes back to us saying like they like to You pick. mad because you don't have a boat. You want your MAGA boat. I, I like to go back and pick. Like They like to pick outliers. They like to pick the craziest story. And the fringes, like majority of people who are struggling for rent, they're not gonna like you know they they, they people talk about this. People deal with this stuff quietly when it comes to rent because it's shameful to know that you can't pay your rent. People deal with this quietly. So when you deal with these outlier stories about people keeping you know ripping up their windows or keeping boats in their driveway, whatever, you know this is this is not normal. That's not what everyone's doing. But they always try to bunch everything together and make it seem like oh we can't trust poor people with the money. This is what happens when we let them like. You know, they just get boats and do nothing all day, you know. I mean, look at how dusty that truck looks in the background. What if it belongs to that guy with the three <laughs> boats? Like, the dude can't even afford a car wash. So I want to play. I want to play this. Keep, check this out. Couldn't pay rent, but they had three boats in this driveway. And another tenant. They had packages every single day coming from Amazon, rent -a center all of this, buying furniture and all of this. She had a whole U-Haul truck full of stuff. And there's my money. Shelp says the money wasn't distributed correctly. The money should have been sent to the programs to where they could dish it out for the rent and the power. One of them being Cooperative Christian Ministry. She's always paid her rent. Now this year, she got behind. Not bad, but she got behind. I told her about the programs. She went up there. She got, I think she come up with uh, half and then she come up with another half. She got all of her rent caught up through those programs. But Shop says those programs are running out of money. You know, looking down the road, I don't know what they're going to do. Although he says he's ready for the moratorium. To oh, end. wow. He's calling the police. To, he saw a black man. Their personal feelings. <laughs> I have to take care of myself and my business and, and a victim. And that's the way that's the way it has to be. And he's thankful for those families who did keep their word. But he says it's time for the moratorium to end. They should not have handed out money after money after money after money after money. But they didn't do that, asshole. Like, That's not they, what they, they did. Wait, I want to rewind because he said that why they give the money to me. Just give the money straight. Yeah. To me. Did you hear that? He said yeah. that earlier. Yeah. Uh, the first, the money should always go to me because uh, I'm so <laughs> much more important than everybody else. Why went straight? Why go but I'm, I'm making sure that I'm looking at people's personal business, and apparently, you know, people are having, you know, uh, U-Haul <laughs> trucks full. You know if you, if you uh, furniture center, and you Amazon package. Yo, if, if you get winter center, that means you're broke as shit, yo. <laughs> oh, by the way, rent a center means that you actually didn't pay anything, yeah. but you're expected to pay later. Yeah, you're broke as shit if you're using winter center. That's not a sign yeah. of wealth, any wealth. That's a sign of like struggle. Life. I mean, that is as close to a predator payday loan <laughs> as it gets. Okay. Yeah, that's not a sign of someone's holy fuck. You know, like that's a sign of someone. Yeah. 
So I want, but the thing is, but like, he's one of these one of these bootstrap guys that doesn't give a fuck about anybody but himself. That thinks that you know, I hate socialism, but if they're gonna do a socialism program, put the money in my pocket first. No that, fuck right? you, guy. Totally how about yeah. you? How about you mind your own Amazon packages? How about you mind your own Rena Center? Kind of how about? Yo, what kind of landlord is studying your packages, yo? Like, yo, yo, son. I mean, I, I think I He's think you would probably be yo. better, you know, finding a different designer for the t-shirts that you buy, <laughs> because your your your, your t-shirts are shitty. Okay, you need you you, uh, you I don't know why you wearing that that weird ass fucking holster on your hip. You know, we stopped using those 15 years ago. Those went out with the Nokias. <laughs> yeah, what the those, fuck are you talking about? Went out with cell phones can be used to build like houses and stuff like that. Those thick phones that last for three. Yeah, days and and, and and again, yeah. a, another one of these examples of somebody that I hate socialism except for when it benefits me. So, I like, wanna, I wanna really, go, go fuck wanna, yourself. I want to go up the ladder because the thing is, like, when these when the media does this kind of thing, they talk about these kind of like. Middle of the rain, middle of the road landlords who may have a few houses or may have those shacks, the murder shacks like those guys have, but but they bunch they bunch all those people, like they bunch all those those people think they they are this kind of landlord and that's the problem, um, they think they're these guys, uh, who can sue who are pretty much sues L.A. for a hundred million dollars for eviction man, um, a big time Trump donor claims lenders have refused to finance properties due to moratorium. So this guy, um. This this is when this is when these landlords think they're this kind of landlord. These super big, Trump, pretty much fun Trumps like presidents presidency um guys right here. I mean, maybe maybe you wouldn't need that hundred million dollars if you didn't give it to Donald Trump. Like oh, you know, shit. if you would have kept that money, I think that you you'd be okay. Yeah. Like, so so pretty much he's one of the prominent. Developers in Southern California and a big time. Whoa, 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 whoa. Scroll up to the headline again. Yeah. Scroll up to the headline again. Okay. Jeff Palmer sues LA for one hundred million dollars. Now scroll back down to the first two paragraphs again. How much money did he say that he lost? Twenty million dollars. So he's. I don't know if this is a scam or like, you know, does it look like a scam to you? I don't know. $20 million is not equal to $100 million, sir. For somebody who's as wealthy as he is, you obviously don't understand numbers. Yeah, I mean, this is crazy. There's definitely somebody who's trying to hustle. Like, this goes back to uh, what what is this thing that, that that people don't like to talk about? Uh, socialism or the government giving people money, large money. Wait, large do you mean that he wants eighty million dollars that he has not earned? So, but this should mm. show. I'm telling you, this shit show goes on for a while. So, um, so pretty much a recent survey. You know, L.A. County. Rent is uh, fucking absurd in LA County, like like any other place around the country. No, look um, at that number, twenty eight hundred. What does that equal to? Median is one month's rent behind, one to two months rent behind. You you like you most almost really you're crying over one to two months. So, so a lot of y'all spend more money on hookers than the, than the amount that you're owed. So this can you sit the entire fuck down? So this is this is what um this is what this um Palmer is upset about right here. He's upset that like this is the greed to the highest level. So the twenty million loss, but he's also upset that lenders have refused to finance or refinance properties managed by him. The firm claims the lawsuit. Um, Palmer's companies say they're entitled to more than. Whoa! Did you dollars. just say the e word? Oh um. Uh, entitled. Oh yeah, like that. I thought that you were businessmen that uh, that. Just they had this hype abhorrence for entitled poor people. Yeah, yeah entitled. Like, oh, 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 remember that term they like to use a lot? Entitlements. Remember mm. that? They used to use that all the time. They meant entitlements, mm. like eighty million doctor. dollars that you can't explain. Doesn't it remind you of uh, the Dr. <laughs> Dre divorce explain. thing? Yeah. 
Does it remind you of Dr. Dre divorce thing where the 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 judge was asking the the soon to be ex wife why she needed two million dollars a month, and then like you look at some of the items and she needed like twenty thousand dollars a month for her cell phone bill and all this shit, and it's like, really, son? You I need? Mean, I, I don't know. I mean, that's what happens when you um when you deal with a billionaire, it's gonna things look a little bigger, right? No, but it, it's like you can't even explain. You you claim you lost twenty million dollars. Okay. How are you gonna make up the other eighty million? Nothing. So at all. So he, he said, uh, like everyone, this is what everyone's worried about. Everyone's worried, really worried about all these greedy, fucking super rich landlord corporation like kind of um, organizations are gonna try to overturn this eviction ban by October. Um, that they're working really hard. Yeah, the California Rental Housing Association has already filed a lawsuit against the state. Um, everyone is filing a lawsuit because, like, this is when you dig. This is when you go to the minds of the landlord. You realize they they want the money. This is greed to the highest level. They they want the money from the tenants. They also want the refinancing as well, where they can make money off of that as well, as well as financing whatever fairy dust project they want to build in the future. So um, this is what's happening here with these landlords. So we want to give you this perspective of like the boohoo crying the landlords. Ooh. You see, every article we pulled up, they're like. Why can't you just give the money straight to me? That's the that's the big problem is that like if, if the money just went straight to the landlords, you know, everyone would be happy. That's what they're trying to say right now. Um, so I so I'm, I'm going to I'm going to tell you what my my fantasy is, because I know like when we do that, when we do um, bad cops, your fantasy is that Jeff Bezos lures all the police officers onto a spaceship and then they go to Venus. Right. Yeah. Uh, and, and they stay there. Desire. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> this is my fantasy. Yeah. My fantasy would be if these landlords are successful in getting all these evictions, right? Put then you have the these up everybody and then you get the all of no no and then you get these entities that create more affordable housing and these people get housed over there. And then after that, uh and then, like, all of the landlords are then left with empty units that they can't do anything with. That would be awesome, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, this is we'll see what happens with this. Like, I don't know if people are going to want to live in those little kind of um, psycho hotels that those guys lit, are doing in, around the country. But we we'll see what happens in California with this lawsuit by the Rental Housing Association. Um, and if people can get the money, I guess landlords don't even care about the money at this point. It's all about controlling people because they can easily go about like power. Burger King and Starbucks and make that extra cash. Twenty four thousand dollars. You could have made that money working at Target. So. Um, um, so that's Dash and Bash. Um, you can go Black Power Magic Hour on Twitter, um, Twitch, Roku TV, Apple TV. All the TV platforms and the Dr. Regina, he's live on Discord, Twitch, YouTube, and that's Dash and Bash. Oh, the landlords. Ooh.